guys what's happening. So, having some issues with this uh, Traxxas T-Max transmission. It's actually not a real T-Max. It's like a complete 100% knockoff. It's called a Magic Wheel, I think. Um, so yeah, it won't shift into uh, second gear either. It feels like it's stuck in second gear. Like, it doesn't have a lot of torque. Now, I've tried multiple engines, so I know it's not the engine. But it doesn't feel like it has a lot of, you know, bottom end. And it won't actually ship into to second gear. So I, I, I definitely know it's two-speed, though. Because there's an adjuster. So I'm going to take it apart. And I took it apart when I first got the car, like in my first video. But uh, there, was, there was a lot of grease in there, so I, I don't know why this thing's not shifting. So I'm going to take it back out and see if I can figure it out. I got the transmission out. We'll cover off. Try to keep everything organized. Um, so I took this apart when I first got it. And uh, when I sprayed it off with water, water got in there. Now, I would think this was a sealed transmission. Uh, this actually one didn't have the reverse. So normally the reverse shaft would be right there. Um, Alright, so I gotta get this thing separated here. Alright, so sorry for the background noise. Uh, if you watch my YouTube channel, you know I'm always 3D printing something. So here, here's the gear rocks. So, I think the factory gears are white. And, um, okay, so that's the uh, spur gear, slipper clutch right here. And, yeah, I noticed it was, it was kind of slightly greased. But this is actually the area where I'm, I'm wondering about here. Is it doesn't seem to want to switch in the second gear. So let's get that out of there real fast. There's a one-way bearing. Alright. Alright, well I need to figure out how to get this thing separated. Yeah, this... When you have a one-way bearing, oh, <laughs> there it is. That, that's what it is. <laughs> All right. Cool thing is, since I'm taking a video of this thing, I can always go back to this later on and, and use it as a reference. Okay, there we go. All right. One-way bearing. Okay, and that's the clutch. So I'm thinking this area is stuck. It's not coming out. Like, this is, uh, centrifugal force is supposed to have this come out and lock out. And they actually have the, uh, the adjusters right there. So one actually locks the part down. And this is, is supposed to come out. It's spring loaded. But, I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna try. I, think I might ultrasonic clean this transmission. Yeah, I think I'm gonna ultrasonic clean everything. See if I can get these bearings out, maybe. Any hard bearings to get out. There we go. Just gonna kind of grab onto them like that, kind of push into them. Twist them out a little bit, if you can see that. It's gonna kind of push them in. Uh, all right, and just get these bearings out. I want to get before I ultrasonic clean this thing. I want to get all the bearings out of here. You don't really want to get these sealed bearings wet. All right. All right so I'm gonna get everything non-sealed uh, into my ultrasonic cleaner here. And actually, I might take this, this one-way bearing out, too, because I don't want to get that in there. Silicone grease is kind of a nightmare to get off, so we'll see. Alright, so I'm going to let the transmission dry overnight, so... I mean, it's taken apart and clean. Yeah, silicone grease is really difficult to get off. So I had to use a combination of my uh, ultrasonic cleaner and my air compressor and a little paper towel. But this is the issue. It's, it's actually a really, I'll, I'll get more into detail about how this thing works, but from what I can tell, just centrifugal force. All right, 
Okay, so doing some research, um, and it actually makes sense. I mean, every situation I've ever been in is kind of like that, is that uh, nylon gears, you don't want to actually uh, lubricate, you don't want to grease on them. It just creates more like uh, resistance. So, um, yeah, I mean, just think of like a servo. If you ever take a servo apart, like a plastic servo, you never see grease on the actual nylon bearings. Uh, not bearings, but uh, gears. Whereas anything, if these were actually metal gears, and you, then you'd want grease. But the cool thing is, um, it actually allows me to really um, t figure out the two speed here. Um, and uh, figure out actually how it operates. Um, it's actually a spring loaded mechanism here that goes out. You can see that. Push that in. But that little locking clip right there, centrifugal force brings that out. I mean, as it's like spinning around, the centrifugal force makes that come out and it locks into the uh, one of these teeth right here. You can see that. See that right there? Which is kind of crazy. I mean, normally like with my other RC cars, there's actually a, a clutch material. So it slowly, slowly transitions into the second speed. Um, but this is like an immediate abrupt, like boom, hits the thing and immediately in second gear. Um, so that's probably one of the reasons why they probably have a slipper clutch, you know, connected to the actual engine. Is that sort of like absorbs some of the impact. That seems like that would be really extreme on the drivetrain. You know, to be able to go from basically first to a, a, a crazy second. So like on the uh, drive shafts and so that seems like I would put a lot of stress on the drive shaft, transmission, like everything, every component involved. So, like I said, the other ones actually have, have actually a clutch. Clutch material. So, let me put this back together and uh, I'll show you. Actually, having this thing taken apart really is... Actually, I'm, I'm glad I did it because now it makes, everything makes a lot more sense. Like, even like the adjustment. So, normally, like when you're on the transmission and you're adjusting it, you're actually putting the set screw in here and you're adjusting that thing right there. It comes down right there. So... All right, so we get the clutch back in, and actually the factory setting, from what I read online, is anywhere from six to six and a half turns. So from all the way in, you know, be careful. Like I said, there, there's a spring here, and what the spring does is either or tightens or loosens the amount of pressure it takes to centrifugal force for this thing to come out. So the clockwise makes it. Uh, harder to shift. It will shift later because it, it's harder for this thing to pop out. So all the way in. So that's about it. So I'm gonna do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can feel like, like the thread locker. Let's see how that feels. Yeah, that comes out pretty easy. So I actually, I, I think, because this thing wasn't going into second gear, so maybe it was just too tight. I'm not sure. Yeah, it definitely feels looser than it was before to get this out there. So I think I might have just been too tight. Alright, so I'm going to hopefully maybe explain to you how the one-way clutch works. So you have two gears. That's your second gear, that's your first gear. And there's a one-way clutch, so you can go one way, well, let's call it a one-way bearing. Um, so it goes one way, locked in one way, turns the shaft, other it free spools. Turn the shaft, free spool. So what happens is, when this thing actually, the centrifugal force locks out the the, the clutch, it locks this thing into place, right? Oh, sorry, got out of there. It locks this gear into place, right? And when, when this gear takes over, right, the whole thing is spinning around. It's locked into the shaft, right? This thing is known. This thing is then free spooling. It's this thing is allowed. It does, this is just spinning freely around, and that's why it's a one-way bearing. And this is kind of like how it is on other RC cars too. So it's not special for for Traxxas. But as soon as it locks in, it's spinning the shaft around, and this thing is just basically free spooling. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, I guess. Hopefully, you guys can figure it out. But all right. So one of the nice things I have a computer out of my workbench. So I actually have a diagram from Traxxas on how to put this back together. But uh, you can see that's the little spring thing for the two-speed clutch right there.
Alright, so I'm gonna put this over here and get the and that's basic all you do is put that in there like that and that. Maybe a little put a little lube in there. I mean, you know it probably doesn't really need it. Like I said, it's it's nylon, so uh get the disc back on there. Alright, so what you want is you want the disc, the brake disc, to go in there. But you don't want it to be so tight where it won't spin around. So you want to give it a couple of millimeters clearance. That way, like I said, it can spin around, it can move around, but it's not going to actually, uh, you know, rub in there. So you want to be able to break. Yeah, it's hard to explain. Hi guys, done with the transmission. So I'm going to put that back in the car and do a test, but hopefully uh, if you're trying to try to put your two-speed clutch, this at least now you can see what it looks like internally and how it works you know how to operate so it's hopefully will make it easier some triple treat here but um hopefully this video helps somebody all right awesome